day. Hi, welcome <laughs> to Studio R12 Live. If you've been seeing me dancing, we've been talking about air conditioning. It's really <laughs> hot weather we're having right now. So, um, <sighs> It's nice to have AC. It is nice to have AC. It's nice to watch Patty dance. No. <laughs> no, never, never, never. Yeah. However, dinner and a show, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Right? We have a, so we have a glass of wine. So much. Oh my exciting. gosh, guys. Yeah, it's it's always the hour before we get ready that the ideas start sparking. <laughs> And they'll be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, so we had one of those mornings. Yeah. I think it was It was super definitely fun. one of those mornings. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to go ahead. We have a, this, all these announcements to make. Okay, let's do it. First, I'm going to start with our YouTube videos from last week and this coming week so that if you guys have missed out, you can check them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and mm -hmm. make sure to um, ding the bell so that you get notifications um, because we have some amazing stuff coming. We have been planning for all the way through fall. Yes, like yes. We've got absolutely. like a list. A, a long list. Yeah. Um, Linda said she loved our shirts. Before we start, let's talk about Patty and I have on the exact same outfit today. The exact, down to the <laughs> shoes. We have on the same shirt. Same we shorts. both have on our ripped jean shorts yes. and we both have on our black plastic sandals yep. with two straps. Yep. So. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> and we did not plan. And we did not plan, yeah. Um, last week on our YouTube channel, we released our Hello Fall round with the... This is an fruit. amazing, this is mm -hmm. one, one of my favorite projects, I think. I just, it's so fun and elegant. It is fun. And some things that we're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. you'll want to, after you watch today, go back and reference yeah, this. Yeah, see that and then compare the two and it's just... Very interesting. Yeah, you're going to have some tips that are going to mm -hmm. go back and forth with it. So that's a super well, fun one. We kind of invented a tip today um, out yes. of a supply chain issue. Absolutely. So um, it's super fun. And then this week, so today, if you read the description to today's live, it said Happy Moose Day because we are on a cow, cow kick. A cow kick. <laughs> and yes, to say the least. So Today we are going to show you how to paint a, an easy cow pattern with stencils. And this actually was sent in from one of, and I've got to say this is super funny. One of our customers, one of you guys, um, sent in the idea for a cow pattern stencil. Yeah. And when I heard that, sometimes I'm Amelia Bedelia and everything is super literal. And um, when I heard that, I was, in, I was envisioning like little cows as a pattern and, and was she like, was like no, no we're not doing not a cow cool. pattern we don't want a cow pattern stencil <laughs> I was like no no like the the spots the spots on a cow oh my gosh <sighs> so and then we go want 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 <laughs> so we're we're covering the cow stencil today yes which is then going to lead us up to yes. our release this weekend. This is the coolest thing, you guys. Um, this is Longhorn Cow Hide yeah. faux painting. And what is really cool about this is um, as we went through the building, we have you know people of every kind of demographic in our building. We have 30 of us in this mm -hmm. team. And um, every girl was like, ooh. I want to know that. I want to do that. I want, and it was no matter what place they were in life, they were like that. Yeah. And so we were so excited about that. It took some discovery. Yes. It took some new brushes. It did. Yes. And um, we're super excited to release that this weekend. You are going to love it. Oh, okay. If you love to spatter, there is an alcohol spatter technique mm -hmm. that we show in this video this weekend. You are going to go gaga for. Yeah, Steve hasn't it's seen amazing. it because Steve Steve's on vacation. Steve on vacation. He's used the word beach 80 times today. Yes. Oh, at yes. the beach, my glasses. At the beach, my baby. At the beach, my camera. At the beach, the food. At the beach, the temperature. Steve's <laughs> being a beach. Yeah. <laughs> Some beach somewhere. Right over there. <laughs> uh, so with, <laughs> with this release that's coming out Saturday, Saturday is it's gonna be a two-part release on our, our release on Saturday is going to be just the background because mm -hmm. it was worth a release of its own yeah. and then next Wednesday we are going to be releasing part two which is the, the sunflowers, sunflowers and the banding and the gather and all of that so yeah and then this is a 3d letter so this is a super so I'm gonna talk about this trend. Yeah, can, so, can you tell we're on, yeah. can you tell we're on a trend there's a little bit of a trend thing going on um, in the world of front door signs, 
Um, round is oh the gosh, queen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we have a Tall new porch. a new one to tell you about and today. And these guys. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, and then this stuff with the lines, the stuff with the bands, and all that. We've got a new tool today to mm -hmm. show you, and um, you wouldn't believe it's. And what I love about it is you can be into cowhide, you can be into pattern, yeah, you, you can, can be into pretty flowers, you can be into sports, hello, anything, sports, football, yeah. So it's amazing. It's yeah. a great trend. I love it. So. Oh, and then we have all kinds a of bajillion. these 3D things to show you real quick. Yeah, we have a bajillion words. Um, it might be just 10 or 12. No, I think it's like 24. Really? I think we have several. Wow. We have Christmas themed. We have mm. farmhouse themed. So we have a lot of different ones, but we have our blessed, our home. We have a couple different fonts. These are super cool too. We started this with this kind of thing on your table settings yes. for the holiday. Thankful, greetings, that kind of, uh, mm -hmm. greetings wouldn't be very good for your tabletop, but if you lay this over the top of your plate with your napkin and your fork mm -hmm. and all of that, it's so cool. Oh, we have the little ho, ho, ho that you could paint red. Oh, we, there's been so many so cute things. Awesome. Um, okay, so we have those. I've been, oh, with our um, project today, mm -hmm. We have the cow print pattern. I am getting ready to share with you guys the link. We are having a pattern stencil sale today. That is um, cow print carry. <laughs> cow print carry. <laughs> 25 to 50% off. Ooh. And there's only yeah. a couple that are 50. Um, these are, <laughs> the, I, Just kidding. these are, very intricate designs. Yeah. We don't put them on sale very often because it takes a lot of time. So every hole on a laser cut stencil is time. Yeah. So when you see when you see one like this, like that plaid, then that is a lot of time. So um, whenever you see a lot of holes, it's a lot of time. Very. And that just so. across the board for any company. All right, I announced that. Okay. Um, if you are not on our Instagram, be sure to go over to our Instagram. We did a fun, quick Ooh, tutorial yes. today on how to put your sanding block paper on, and it was 27 seconds or something. Yeah, so, super and quick. I wasn't even hurrying, because when I hurry, I mess it up. But um, yeah, this is super easy to reload, and you guys, it's such, mm -hmm. such a arm strength saver. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's amazing. Yeah, and I, we have yeah. we have a video of that on our YouTube, but if you just want a quick, yeah. oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, then yeah, exactly. Now, I'm not time. talking your way through it. Sometimes, nope. um, you know, I didn't say that there are these little metal teeth inside of there and all that kind of stuff, but you get the idea of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And then if you need more, go to YouTube and go find the video on the, the thing. Um, okay, I did that and I did that. I think it's time to get started. Do you want to... Um, release our new stencil first? I think so. Okay. So, yay! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yes, so, when we were doing... This is the mystery tool. <laughs> okay, this looks dumb. When we were doing a straight banding stencil tutorial for you guys, then we got the idea to do a round banding stencil, and this came to life, and it's yeah. Hippie noodles are gonna be blown all over the place. Yeah. And as soon as Patty explains it, I have one more announcement. Yeah, and so what I wanna say about this guy is um, that they are, um, it looks like a dumb thing. And then when you lay it over each other, you realize it could be combined and it could make a, a new, pie. A new pattern. <laughs> and then pie. it, yeah, I know it looks like pie. Do and a little then, harvest on there. <laughs> yeah. And then you can do like a gingham mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And so now these are a little bit floppy. Now this is breaking every rule of stencil that I ever had. And that's the color arm trap, almost a head trap. You know, I can make a new hat out of that. But, um, but if you put the stick and restick on the back of that, then you are going yeah. to have um, something that can, um, you know, stay down and not be woogly. Yeah. That's what I call that. And this is going to come as a set of two <clears throat> because when you are doing your round, there are so many options of where you're going to want to put that banding mm -hmm. line. So one of them has the center cut out of it mm -hmm. and then does every other. And then the other stencil is, is the reverse. The yeah. And so when you lay them together, <laughs> it looks like a periscope. Um, but yeah, so, and you can actually make some fun background 
things doing just that little bit of reveal as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And this comes, so this comes in a 10, 13, 16, and 19, mm -hmm. which is going to um, go over top of our surface. Yeah, so it and actually it, sticks out on the outside edge. So, so that, that you can get your banding. So that it goes edge to edge. Mm -hmm. So it's the most common sizes of the thing. And so you can get it right on the edge of the wood. Yeah, so if you're getting the 10 inch, you're gonna want a nine inch surface mm -hmm. or, or or smaller. Yeah. If you get the 13 to 12 inch, so you'll go one inch smaller on your surface than what you're getting on your And you stencil. could almost, well, nev no, never mind. Self-edit, woo, that's one today. <laughs> Good job, that's I more know. than most days. I know. Okay, so with this stencil, guys, this is the only place we're releasing it. We'll announce it this a couple times. This is a times. special for you guys. Yeah. Um, our live guys, our yes. stencil fan guys. Yes, Girls. special for our stencil fans. That Five sons, everybody's a guy for me, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, you guys. Hey, guys. Um, this stencil is free today. Yes. If you do a $20 purchase, mm -hmm. you have $20 worth of items in your cart, and then you add this to your cart. Any of the sizes. Any size. It will this is a big deal. It will automatically be mm -hmm. discounted. You don't have to put in a code, and it's today only. Yeah, 24 hours. Yep, so the sale will and end. And it's only for you people that mm -hmm. have seen this. Um, stencil fans, enjoy. Yes. And then let me show you why it's amazing. Okay, so if we are going, what we're going to do today is, hi, jump off here. Oh, that was scary. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do something that's offset, and we're going to do our stripe we're gonna do it um, vertically and not horizontally, okay? And so we're gonna do a dry um, layout. And so we'll go there. And I want to have enough of my cow print um, showing, but I don't want it to be, I don't wanna to have to patch it too much. So I go to the biggest part of my pattern. And actually, I remember we talked about this. Um, you can freestyle the pattern in where you need to do some filler on cow print. Cow print's a little bit more forgiving. Okay, so we're gonna do a line probably right about there. And then we're going to dry fit this. And so we want that to fit on there as well. And actually, I think we're gonna go to here. So now I know where I want my line. So this is a tool to show you how to mark your stencil. I don't know if you guys saw the way back in the the day we did um, a round sign and I did a thing with tracing paper and we folded and we folded and we folded and we did all that stuff to be able to get a straight line. Because if you just whack a T-square across the thing, you don't know if you're off center or not. And that's why this is so important. And with as big a trend as this is, this is important. So I'm going to use my um, triple threat ghost writer and I'm just gonna run that down and now I have my band where I'm going to base I'm gonna use a piece of tape and I have a really exciting little announcement in just a little bit here um, out of supply chain woes we have invented a new thing called kind of like a phoenix it really is. We are rising in the action. Oh, hey, garden dirt. Um, if you see all of this on my arms, this is my garden attacking me. Um, it is the season right now. Okay, so we are going to put out paint, and I want to show this probably right about now. So this is our, our new kind of neat thing. So this is the last couple of sheets of my palette paper. It is discontinued. It is not available in any configuration that we can find. And um, I walked back to the manufacturing side of the building and saw this piece of scrap mylar. And I was like, well, that could be a piece of palette paper. And so we're going to cut a piece of this off and we're going to use it today instead of the palette paper and see how this works. Now, one thing that I already thought of is how is that gonna stick down? So I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and adhere it to this. The weight of this does help quite a bit. 
Um, I can do one at the bottom as well. But our Mylar stencils are washable, they're reusable, they're durable, and so there should be no reason that this can't make a beautiful sheet of palette paper. So we are going to go onto here and we're gonna do our black through there. So this side has to be white as the base. Okay, we'll use our foam, poly foam brushes. And I want to always, I use my thumbnail to just bray that edge down so I don't get any bleeding under. You can bleed under tape just as easy as bleeding under a stencil. So we'll just give this a base. We're gonna show you how to use pattern stencils with um, your projects. And then we're gonna show you this tool, of course, which we've just done. Um, that's a really great deal to get that for free and to have it every time you need to do something round. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, when I'm doing clean edges on the outside, I wanna flip away from my edge so I don't cup under. I don't like cleaning up the edges. And so on here, I will flip out of the edge. And so far, that tape is working mm -hmm. really well. That's nice. We have a second use for it. Can't wait to share. Like, hurry, go, faster. Yeah, I wish I would have known this when I painted mine last week. <laughs> I know. Yeah, supply chain issues are legit, guys. Um, I cannot tell you, almost every single day, somebody comes to me and says, we can't. Um, we don't. We don't have. We can't get. Um, almost every single day. I'm going to hit the blow dryer. And I know the heat tool sounds like a good idea, but... Um, Mine gets really, really hot and it's really bulky. I need it. Who has a good heat tool that um, they can share with me? Well, and I also want to say that when we use the heat tool, there is a cooling down period of the heat tool that a fan turns on. So then we have to wait for the fan to turn off yeah. before we can talk again. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> go to the blow dryer. We can't hear you. What was it? I do think the internet issues are on our end. Okay. It is working, but it keeps stressing. Okay. You guys, if you're having any issues internet-wise, um, sometimes we're in small town America. Mm -hmm. We don't have fiber optics. We don't have any of that even available yeah. to us. We I have mean, like, the, the <coughs> highest power available to us. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So we are, that's what you deal with when you're in the rust belt, you know? So I am digging this um, tape down because even this guy would move on me. Mm -hmm. um, that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy going. All right, so the second piece, I was doing that really tender so that I didn't move it. The tape works great. All right, one more blow dryer. Brush goes in the water. With last week's brushes. <laughs> <laughs> so last week, we did the project. We did our live. And we did the live. And, and then we filmed. We filmed, and then we <laughs> went over to shuffleboard and um, had fun, and then didn't come back and do any of the cleanup that we were supposed to do. Wow. There's another kind of neat thing. These little pages are flapping in the breeze and this isn't hardly even looking. Okay, while our tape is on, we'll go ahead and grab our pattern stencil. So this is what's so cool about pattern stencils is you can do, you can do like, anything you know like you can make anything into anything tape a line do a thing it's oh it's amazing okay so sorry i get a little excited we're gonna go over here Ooh, if i go diagonally oh that's so that's clever yeah. so I'm, we always recommend i'm the queen of the clever ideas today she is, I'm just she is say. on her game we 
typically recommend getting a size bigger of your pattern stencil than what your surface is so you don't have to move it. We make our pattern mm -hmm. stencils so you can move them yes. and make them repeatable, but sometimes that gets a pain in the butt. However, with this one, the next size up, the cow pattern yeah. was ginormous big, yeah. because yeah. we also make the pattern. Yeah, um, and we've done it both ways. We've got patterns that stay the same but get big. And then we've got patterns that um, get bigger as they get bigger. Um, when you're taping, for those of you who are newer to stenciling or you haven't seen our videos, um, we give all the tips as we're painting. Um, when you tape in only one place, then your stencil can walk. And so when you tape in two places, then your stencil is very steady. So it won't rock around. Okay, so now my tape is still down. I'm gonna take our black paint. <clears throat> A flat folded paper towel. This is Basics 101. If you haven't seen this, then this is what you're here for right now. Um, we're going to take a dome brush. The dome brush, every now and again, you lose a hair. This one's got a wild hair sticking right out of the middle. Um, they're dome cut. Other stencil brushes are cut flat, and what happens is when it hits the surface, they cup underneath the stencil. This does not. It hits right there, and if anything moves, it, it's, I don't know, it's just made perfectly. Bleeding is a thing of the past. Okay, so we pick up black paint in our dry brush. You cannot use these wet. If you use them wet, you will slop everything. So we rub off on the paper towel and unload the paint. So it's a waste in a way, but it doesn't waste your time. Okay, so then we go over here and we're gonna swirl. It's easier to do a couple of really thin coats than, and you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere this to my table because, and I highly recommend a, is there another surface like this laying over there? Hang on just a second. So see how this bends over? If you bent over, then what's gonna happen is, thank you so much, is it's going to flop. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tape this to this surface and then now I'm flat. So having a little scrap piece of this, just a thin little scrappy scrap, is really handy for not bending and then mm -hmm. flexing. That's a good idea. Um, we did have a question uh -huh. from... I have questions all day long. <laughs> we had a question from Janet. Hi, Janet. And Janet said, are you going to sell sheets of Mylar to replace the palette paper? So, you, Janet, are like a soothsayer. Yeah. You are my Mind magic. reader extraordinaire. Yes. So what we are gonna do, I have one more piece I wanna share and then I'm going to share with you what we're going to do for you guys today. Um, today's your day. Today, you today's what, the you, day. If you guys are on our live today, today is your day. Yeah. This is like spoil you rotten day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as we do our cow print, where we get into a problem when we do our cow print is that when we come over here and I paint this side black, which is what we're going to do, then I know, I'm going to roll this guy around. So I give him support. <clears throat> um, where you come into the problem is then you're going to have fresh paint on both sides. And if you tape on top of that fresh paint, then you're going to have a problem. So what we are going to do is we are going to make this. And we haven't tried this. I literally picked this piece of scrap mylar up. Um, 30 minutes ago? Yes. I, like it was 30 minutes. We're gonna use this as our masker on here. We're gonna tape it down and use it to mask like the multi-masker. And that is going to be our tape. And there's no taping on the surface, but it's going to be secured off of the surface, if that makes sense. So, so see how, let's look, take a look and peek at our work so far. When you do the, I'm going to move all my tools here. When you, Rusty, if you want to get down here, do that, you see it's all clean, no bleeds. You're just doing super soft. So come back over here. And the other benefit to doing just whisking the paint, just, just mm -hmm. scumbling it on, then what happens is you don't have, ooh, and I did maybe slightly move my pattern, did I? No. Ah, when you swirl, 
sometimes you don't get right into the edge. So what I'm seeing is that kind of ghosting line of the edge. So the way that you can get rid of that is when you're finished, you can give it a little stipple and that will get straight down to all your edges. I really do like to swirl just because it's not as much work. It's like physically demanding to do that pounding. Um, and I don't, I don't appreciate no. physically demanding and work when I'm stenciling. The, the one thing that I like about the stippling is that Covers. the coverage, yeah. because with a sign like this, once you see what we do on the other side, we are going to want that deep, bold, as dark as you can get on your sign black yeah. for the cow print. And sometimes to do that with your swirling, it's going to take you several <clears throat> layers to yeah. do it cleanly. Yeah, yeah. So what I like about swirling, though, is you also get there slower. Mm -hmm. And I need to not stop and talk. I always well, stop and, and it's talk. cleaner because when you stipple, you are going to risk bleeding Pushing under more under because heavy you're hitting paint. it yeah. harder. The paint's going up in your brush <clears throat> yep. more. Yeah, you cannot easily do this technique with a flat brush. No. Um, it's it's a pain and it's terrible and all the things. So this is definitely something. Um, I've, I've said it a bunch of times on our lives, on our videos. I don't even remember where I learned this. Um, I wish I could. I would love, 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 love to give credit to wherever I learned it. I just don't even know. Okay, so we're gonna keep going, go ahead. We had received a comment that I told Patty about um, it was on our YouTube channel um, yesterday, and Karen had commented and said, I thought I was going to throw all away all of the stencils I bought, but after watching the videos, it was so easy. And she was, you know, she got her stuff and started stenciling, and... It's so cool. And, you know, when you start, if you're not sure what to do, you could use the wrong brush, or yeah. you might not know to offload. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like this is not, um, this isn't even a common sense mm -hmm. situation. You know, like you're not even, um, like it doesn't make sense to offload. Yeah. Um, when we first started, um, boardroom is kind of where, so we made the stencils. Um, we made our first stencils because when you get them made for you, you have to have so many made and we would end up with this inventory problem. And if you know about business, if you own a whole lot of inventory of anything, then there's a tax ramification and some of that stuff. So everything that we do, we have the equipment and the people to be able to print on demand. So um, we are making the stencil as you order it and we're making it for whatever size you do. So we don't have always, sometimes we do. Um, we have one machine that makes inventory for us, but, um, but mostly we do not. Um, so every now and again we have a, a mega oopsie. Oh, speaking of, Ooh. I have some things for you guys today. What? Um, we haven't announced any giveaways today, but we do have a fun giveaway that is sticking with our cow theme. We have the daggone oh. cutest cow faces. Daggone cutest is right. You guys. Look at how adorable this little thing is. I think her name is Bessie. She, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is now. I think she's so sweet. So if you guys, oh. um, if you guys would like a Bessie, please comment below, and we will choose some random winners. I have quite a few of these, and then I was going to read one more comment from our YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> Leslie said, "Oh, stencil stenciling is as easy as taking any flat brush." And painting over the lines, and then and then Leslie realized, oh, <laughs> lol, it's it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, and actually, I have, I have watched some um, videos that have done basically that, and and honestly, I've even seen ads on YouTube, uh, no, on Amazon, that have shown like basing with like a flat brush, and they lift it off, and it's a glommed all underneath, and oh. Blah, 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 blah. And I, I just like the horror that lifts in my heart, you know? Ah, no, don't you know? Let me go show you how to do this. Okay, so now I'm stippling just to get the coverage, the final coat done and get it darker. <clears throat> the swirling is also very even. You get really even coverage. 
So I'm getting impatient. I just don't want to do the layers. <laughs> that never happens. Never impatient. If my husband was only watching this now, right? <laughs> He'd be like, lies. Okay, and then when you get done with one side of your paper towel, you just flip it over. That's what I wish I could um, figure out is if I could use just like a towel that would wash the paint out, but I don't think because it hardens and it does all that, I don't think that's possible. I'd love to get rid of this waste. Okay, let's take a little peeky poo. And ta-da! Got a stray hair, stray hair, three stray hairs. However, looks good. I don't like that. It's not finished. Okay, brush in the water. We're gonna peel this puppy. We're gonna lift straight up. Plop that guy over there. And now the Mylar and then the announcement. It was Linda, right? I think that asked the question and was a, the mind reader. Mm -hmm. On our tape, when you're taking tape, this is the silliest thing but you're gonna be like hippie noodle blown. Um, when you take your tape away, <clears throat> the way to do it is to pull it at this, um, is that a right angle? Is that what that is? Yep, yeah, okay. So a 90 degree angle, thank you. And you take it that way and it creates a little cutting edge on your tape. And that way it makes a clean peel. Okay, so never do this way, always do it away this way. And that makes it perfectly clean. And that's like I cut it with a knife. Like a butter. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Woohoo! Love it. How okay, cool. I am going to blow dry that so that I can do the next step. Okay, so for our giveaways, um, Gina is going to get one from YouTube, and Gina is going to message us her address, and then on Facebook, I am going to uh, randomly pop in some people's inboxes here in the next day I and let you it. know that you won. That cow is so cute. Talk about trend. Oh, my lanta. Okay, so on this, we're going to use this as our masker. I'm going to slightly, ever so slightly, pop it down there. There's one thing that this is going, what I think should happen is I should have the stick and re-stick on the back edge of this. Um, you would use a jumbo dauber to apply that and then let it dry and it dries clear. And then what happens is it becomes like tape is. Tape is sticky, it doesn't transfer the stick but it's sticky over and over and over and over again. So this makes tape on the back of any of your stencils, but you don't have to have tape. So um, that's super cool. So, but I don't wanna take the time to have the thing dry to do the thing. So we're going to do a little risky business. Get that lined up again. I talked it crooked, Carrie. <laughs> Get it lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape it on both sides of my board. And then I'm going to be like patty patient and not futz with my board. Okay, so now on this side, we want that to be black. Janice asks, how do you get the stray hairs off without making a mess? Okay, so what I just did, and if you saw it on the video, you can go back and watch it again. Um, I blow dried it first. And then once it's dry, you just brush them away. So, and you're always going to get stray hairs with this kind of brush. Um, there is, Carrie, if you will make a note, mm -hmm. there is a how is this made video okay. that shows exactly like this brush and how it's made. You will blow your mind. It's ridiculous how much is actually involved. Okay. It's cool. Okay, so when we're going to base against a masking tool, I'm going to hold it down here and I'm going to brush away. Okay, I don't want to brush towards. So remembering that our stencils are reusable, they're durable, and they're washable. So this masking tool can be reused. This palette paper tool can be reused. All this paint comes off of there with a little warm soapy water. So you 
are gonna be so thrilled. Okay, so what we are doing, now it's time to announce, okay? Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to send one sheet of the long with any order that you guys place today. We're just gonna send it in your order. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna add anything to your cart. Nope. So when you order, you're gonna get that. You can cut off a piece for palette paper. Mm -hmm. You can keep the other piece for masking. Do anything you want with it, but oh my gosh, it is, this, this is working. This is so fabulous. I'm so, I'm so excited. This is so simple, but you know, if I turn on the TV and I look at the news, all I do is go, yeah. and then you discover something simple like this that gives you a little bit of joy, and I'm just going to go with that for a hot well, second. Well, and I will also say that with this, we do offer a create, create your own stencil mylar pack. Mm, on our yeah, website, yeah. we have three mil and the 7.5 mil, which is what we use, right? Which is what we're using. Yeah, and you can use the three mil in your Cricut if you're one of the people that has mm -hmm. Cricuts. Um, so, and not the kind in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So um, anyway, so, but you can, the three mil will work. It is extremely floppy. 7.5 is like the happy medium. 10 is way too thick. It feels like children's stencils in my book. Um, so I really do like this thickness. Now, as I'm getting up here away from my center of like control, I wanna push down on this because I've got this taped out here. I don't wanna shove that and move it and make a big mess. Okay, we're gonna have one more base coat and one more blow dry. Well, probably two more blow dries. Okay, so did you see me holding down that stencil material? so that it didn't flop all over. And then you do see a little reveal line. What we're gonna do with that, and I'll do that now, is we're going to pick up offload. This is just like a stencil. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stipple right there. So it butts it right up without shoving the brush okay. towards it. I love this project, I'm so excited for it. Me too. Uh, Darlia said, sometimes when I get in a new brush, I wash it and dry it before I use it. It's a good idea. Just to get rid of a couple of the extra yeah. bristles, if there are any. Yeah, you're, you're pr pretty much, not with the synthetics. I don't know why the synthetics don't do that. Though they're much thinner. Mm -hmm. Like, this is way different than that. So, you can imagine things just not quite. And when you watch that video, we'll post it on our Facebook page. Um, I've got to go find it again. Um, but when you watch that video and you see one person, it's a little bit hands-on, one person does it one way and another person does it a little bit less and they crimp it and they, like, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's incredible, but you'll see it's a, almost like a human touch error yeah. situation. Sorry. Paint, Patty, paint. <laughs> Stop talking and paint. Oh, goodness. Okay, so now we brush away again and this will be our final coat. I say with confidence because I don't want to do one more. <laughs> we were, we, we, we are, are doing it. Filming a new project for you guys before we did our live today. And Patty was working on a background and she made sure that she got the background color to cover the whole background. <laughs> I wasn't putting out one more drop of paint. I was like, nope, I am not doing it. This will stretch. And I was using a roller and I rolled and rolled and rolled and got it to stretch. And I was... That makes me happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I wanna know what you guys are painting right now um, because it's hot, it's like 100 here. Mm -hmm. um, so like, what are you painting in this season? I'm very curious. And for those of you who are just joining us, we have released our two-piece round banding stencil um, set. 
and today only you can get it for free if you make a $20 purchase so you have to add $20 worth of products and in your cart in there or something yes yeah. there is a link you have to add $20 worth of products to your cart and you have to add the banding stencil to your cart and then the banding stencil will and be then discounted automatically, automatically okay. discounted or as right, long I'm as there's $20 in there ready for a reveal yes show me <laughs> do it okay ready you take the tape and la 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 la, la. So cool. Perfection. Okay, so now what you do with this part is let it dry, don't let it dry, whatever you want to do. Just take that, run it under your sink, mm -hmm. and use some little soapy water, and it rinses clean, no problemo. Um, you can use it dirty if you want to. Now, have we talked about the new um, design that we ran across with this one? So on these, we these most of them that we've done have been horizontal. Mm, yeah, so this one, thank you, because mm -hmm. you were like, she's going to do that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you get busy talking, and ooh, I got a goober. I made a little mess on there. Um, but you get busy talking, and you forget that you're doing it this way. All right, I have to do one more dry, and then we will be finishing up. So Carrie is very good at picking people who are very active, talking mm -hmm. to us, and mm -hmm. making comments, asking mm -hmm. questions. We want to answer the questions. If you don't get answered, like right here in this venue, yes, we'll come um, back. we come back to them and answer all of them. It is a thing that we do. Like we yeah. take a lot of pride in that. We do. You know? So, all right, I'm going to make noise. Okay. Man, that works so good. All right, so we do have some comments from some people on yep. what they're painting. Denise says she is base coating, base coating round trays. Darlia says camping signs are huge for her again nice. this year. Nice, I love that. Yeah, that our um, the fire pit one oh is um, like if we go top ten, it's in the top ten mm -hmm. and has been for like three or four years. Yeah. Like, it, it just never dies. Um, Linda is all about fall, mm. even though it's 100 degrees. <laughs> I think doing... that's why we're all about fall. Um, let's see. Um, Janice is going to try tall porch signs. She just got her Ooh. stencils. So we have uh, um, Alicia Fannin is doing a Scrabble wall. Oh, Scrabble walls are so cool. We actually have, I don't know if they're listed on... We do have some Scrabble okay. letters, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had um, one of our gals in town did a big Scrabble wall when it started. And Okay, so I want to talk about this. So we dry fitted this when we had our round stencil. And remembering that this is the thing, this set is what is free with any order today. So um, this, we use that to mark and make a straight line. If you wanted to freestyle something that didn't work out perfectly like this is apparently working. Um, if I line this up with that line, then this is gonna be perfect, mm -hmm. right? But what if I have something different size without a good straight edge right there? And remembering that all of our stencils are laser cut and they're designed in Adobe software. So they are snapped lines to exact things. So you're always gonna have straight lines when you get our stencils. They are not going to be some kind of wonky, weird line. Okay, so that's important. But what if you had something bigger that didn't have that straight edge that you could butt right against there? You can take your T-square and you could lay that against there and then take your white lead. This has um, a gray lead and it has a white lead and then a roller ball that doesn't have any ink so that you can trace patterns and trace things. And it also has an eraser on the back end. So it's actually a four in one and not a three in one. Yeah, it, it's a quadruple Whoops. threat. That I didn't we, know. We later found out about. I didn't know it was there. So that was funny. Anyway, but then you could make your line and make sure that you're straight because when you're dealing with round, that's why this tool. Then it, it's the weirdest little tool set, but that's why this tool is so important. Is because it's so difficult to stay straight on a round. So if you can use this, um, you're going to be able to stay straight. Give yourself a straight edge to lean against. And so now we're going to go ahead and pop this guy on there. 
we're going to use this. And for those of, you, uh, you, those of you who have been with us for a while, we're going to say something we haven't said in a long time, but everyone say hi to Noelle. Noelle, hi, is, Noelle. Here, Noelle is here with us hi, in Noelle. the comments today. Yay. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. Um, we used to say, you know, say hi, Noelle, like Noelle was never going to leave us. Yeah. And then, and then Noelle <laughs> moved. Bye, Noelle. <laughs> No, we miss you. Okay, so now we're gonna go here. We're not gonna do the greenery at all. We are gonna go into white paint. I'm gonna put out a little bit more and finish this up. And this is just the cutest sign. You can drill holes in it to, hide, to hang it. You can go with string or ribbon mm -hmm. um, or any kind of, you put a little cowbell. Uh, that would be so cute. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, so you can hang it anyway. Um, we do a lot of this when we hang them in our house. Um, we do them with um, air quotes, right? Um, we do it with command strips and they work brilliantly and we cut them up. So you guys, they're this long and we use squares. So we cut them into squares and then just use them that way. And that is amazing. And they, you watch them week after week. So, okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to swirl for our first coat. A couple of things that um, I saw a comment from a viewer today. Um, I didn't get her name. Um, I was doing something else and I just happened against it. And um, she said that she uses um, um, decoupage medium to kind of block underneath the stencil. If you swirl, if you use the dome brush, you won't need to do that. But a lot of people have good success with that. So that is one way. Another way that you can prevent that if you just can't seem to not bleed under is you can use your base color. So I could do my first coat with black and then it kind of seals under the stencil. If mm -hmm. you're bleeding, then you bleed black. Sounded yeah. weird. <laughs> that, that's what's it's a little dark humor. <laughs> um, but if you bleed black on black, then you're not gonna see it. And then you do white over it once it's dry, then you do the white coats then in theory, it seals up all your little holes and stuff like that, so. Well, we've always recommended that for use, if you're taping off, to yeah. use that, use either the same color as your original background or yep. a clear coat or something, because the tape can move. Yeah, and we, um, when I was, um, gosh, first studio um, way long time ago, almost 30 years, um, we had a stained project, oh, a whitewash, if any of you remember pickling, um, we had a pickled white project with a stain side by side, and we had to do the one against the other, and so taping was absolutely had to happen, and everything was bleeding under, and we could not successfully do it, and we just used um, pounced um, varnish, mm -hmm. so same thing as decoupage, yeah. basically, um, and that gave us a clear, clo clear coat bleed yeah. underneath, and that was great. So that's neat tricks that you can apply. I'm just checking our orders and our friend Barbara got the free banding stencil. What? Super excited. Can't wait to see what you guys do with this. It's going to make your round door hanger so easy. Yeah. And, you know, and then don't, don't even just think about it. Think of this as straight edge. Absolutely. And that's like this can be just a marking tool as well. We could have absolutely used that to paint the black portion down on this project yep. you paint up against the line and then pull it off and then fan and then the rest base. with your base coat <gasps> i didn't think oh carrie <laughs> i don't have the market on like good ideas today we're like ah, I'm we're swooping, rolling i'm swooping in with the good ideas yeah taking my credit no that's so good i didn't think of that smart we're gonna have to stop and restart all of this over you guys just catch it. us again yeah <laughs> I hope that you guys give us some hearts if you're enjoying this because <laughs> we are like here literally for you and having so much, probably too much fun. Um, I don't, is there? No. No, no, no way. Why? I don't think you can have Why too much fun. You gotta be hating like that. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of hearts. Oh, Thank good. you guys. Yes. Don't forget to also Heart back. Um, like and share 
and comment on our live. Yeah, the, the, show your friends. The algorithm thing, guys, is legit and it is a thing. Um, you would not believe um, small time businesses in big time mm -hmm. YouTube and Facebook. Like it's <laughs> the battle is real. It is. Yeah. And and, and sharing, sharing with your friends is a great way to help yeah. us out because even if someone's not into stenciling yet. They might be into cows. They might be into cows and then they might want to make this. And then yeah. they have us and they have you who's already been watching us to help them out. Yeah. All right. Reveal time. You ready? Dun, dun, dun. Ta-da! How cute it. is that guy? That's right up here. I think that's right up there with this project. Uh, I, I think know. that's I like pretty cool. I think those are so, it does look like a series. We're gonna have our, our, animal our, animal, print. our animal print. Actually, I think I have made an animal print playlist because I knew that we were gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is so much fun. Okay, I hope that you love this. Make sure if you wanna get your free piece of palette paper, um, one quick, I think this is probably dry. Oh, don't put it on the project. Don't put it on the project. Um, be careful when your stencils are wet on the back side, they can sometimes smear across. So I think this is dry. I want to just show really quick how that will clean up. This is just water. You can wet that. If you've got warm soapy water in your um, sink, it's even better, but that just wipes right on off and that's not soaking it or soaping it or anything. So you can reuse this over and over and over and the stencils work the same way. So as you build up layers of paint, you can just wash them and we've got a video on that. And we, so, we do. Yeah, so we'll show you that video. And um, I think that that's what we've got today. I think so I think too. You Be guys sure to tune in to Saturday to see how to do the organic Oh yes. Oh, pattern. and you guys will not believe how fun it is. Oh, and the, oh, and the spatter technique. <laughs> The spatter technique is a tool that you will put in your toolbox and you will take it out over and over again. So we'll Absolutely. see you Saturday and see you live on Tuesday.